20 scams in 20 minutes. Scam number one, refunding. I'm gonna explain the scam fully, tell you the cash per day the scam makes, and I'm gonna tell you the risk of jail for each scam on a scale of kind of stupid to extremely stupid. It's all stupid, don't scam. The only reason I'm telling you these methods is to get you to understand how fucking easy it is to make a fuck ton of money. If you wanna learn how to make this much in a day legally, watch to the end of the video. Refunding, risk level, kind of stupid. People make from 100 to $5,000 a day doing it. Companies fuck up when shipping products sometimes. The refunding scam is simply convincing a company that they fucked up, didn't send you the product they were supposed to send you. So you keep the product and they send you your money back. You convince the company you didn't get your product through a variety of methods. EB, just saying the box was in. FTID, creating a fake tracking number that's designed to get lost in the trucking and warehouse system. So it looks like you sent the product back. That's 100 a day. A higher level refund scam would be like what this one guy did with Amazon textbooks, making thousands of accounts, renting these textbooks out for let's say 30 each and reselling them for 300. He went to jail though. Don't go to jail, rjack.net. But I still wanna share the information so that you guys realize how easy it really is to make a ton of fucking money. It's out there, it's damn near in your fucking hands. You just have to grab it. Scam number two, online carding. Risk level, extremely stupid. Anywhere from a thousand to 20,000 a day. When people say I just punch sacks, this is what they're talking about. You buy a credit card from a site like Joker Stash, Unic, FE Shop. It's usually these Russians who have made a career out of stealing tons of Americans' credit card information. You buy a credit card for five to fifty dollars. The five dollar cards are going to be thousand dollar limits. The fifty dollar cards are going to be fifty to a hundred thousand dollar. You probably buy the card with a bin, which is the first six digits of a number, so they can estimate how much they'll get off the card and how likely they are to succeed. Once they have the right card, they go on a site like Saks Fifth or Apple or a gift card site with things like VPN, Sox Five residential proxies, so the security system of the site they're using the stolen credit card on does not detect unusual traffic. From there, they purchase the item and send it to a drop house. Could be a random address they found on Zillow. They walk up to the house to get the package with the green reflective vest on. So people assume they're doing something important or legitimate and they collect the package. This is super stupid. You could get caught at the house. If your OPSEC operational security isn't absolutely tight, you could have an IP leak and the site could find your real IP address at your house. So if they're only hitting for the small stuff, they'll make a few hundred a day. You may have seen this with the people who order pizza for you for half off. But if you set up a consistent system to hit for big shit, 10 bands a day, easy. Jail though, rjack.net. My bad, my bad, I won't say it again. Scam number three, fill out this survey for a free TV or free Roblox or Robux, Clash of Clint, whatever the game the kids are playing or iPhone giveaways that people promote. Stupidity level is only kind of stupid. About one to 10,000 a day with this scam, lower chance of getting caught. This is just a scam to get your credit card information. So how does this scam work? They catch your attention with a free item and maybe they paid an influencer that you trust you shouldn't to promote it. You think, hmm, this is a, probably a fucking scam, but it's just a survey, right? Now you fill out the survey, you spend 10 minutes filling out the survey. You've invested so much time that when they tell you, oh, you just have to pay a $1 shipping fee with your credit card. You say, ah, fuck it. And now they have your information. This is one of the ways the sellers in scam number two get access to your credit card number. And you could easily get 10,000 people to fill out that survey in a day. Sell each number for five to ten dollars. You do the math. Scam number four: getting people to sign up for phone. Stupidity level very high. You're talking to people in person who can snitch on you, and you'll make no more than a few thousand a day. This scam works by getting people who are either stupid or really desperate for money to go into Verizon, AT and T, T-Mobile, and buy phones under their name or a credit profile's name. The desperate people give the scammer the phone, and the scammer gives the desperate person a hundred dollars. These phone companies will give a phone to almost anyone. That's how they keep you paying two hundred dollars a month at AT. AT&T because they own your phone. Allowing people to pay their phone off over time, the scammer then takes the phone that they got for $100 and sells it for $1,000. When you see scammers flexing stacks of iPhones, this is how they did it. The higher level of this scam is having a person go into the store with the credit profile and a fake ID that matches. While the desperate person going in may only be able to get one phone because they have low or bad credit, the credit profile is gonna have great credit and gonna be able to get three to four phones potentially. They'll tell the store lies like, I'm buying these phones for all the employees in my construction or I'm buying a phone for every member of my family. Scam number five, the bank loading scam. Very stupid. You can make 50 or 60,000 a day with this, but you're also very likely to go to jail. This is the scam you see on Instagram where someone says, I'll put 10,000 in your bank account today. Just give me half. They do this by finding the account and routing number of any legitimate business checking account that's going to have a lot of money going through. The banking system is so fucking unsophisticated and unsecure and easy to take money from that all you really need is those two numbers. You print them on a check that matches that business and you mobile deposit it and they will load 10,000 into that bank account. How do they print the checks? Well, how does a normal business print their checks? With the check printer, check paper, and check writing software, all of which are available on amazon.fucking.com. The issue here is the check is fake. So they may put the whole 10,000 into your bank account, especially if they're an unsophisticated financial institution. This is why you hear 
people asking specific banks. If you have a Navy Fed, tap in. If you have a Bank of America, tap in. If you have a Chase, tap in. Because they know for some reason that named bank is, is instantly giving the people money for checks and not waiting for the check to clear. Anyways, once the money's there, the scammer withdraws it or withdraws half of it. But you, as the holder of the account, are going to be liable for that money when the check does not clear. If you only had 300 in your bank account and you did have 10, but now you have negative 5,000 or negative 10,000 because a lot of times the scammer will just take all of the money. And that's why they ask you to send them or hand them over your debit card first. Scam number six, combos. Risk level, medium, stupid, cash per day, 500 to 1,000, maybe a bit more, but not much. Also free food. How this works is most people use the same password across all sites. If you've ever typed in your password in a browser and it told you this password has been used in a data breach, this is what they're talking about. So you can go on certain sites and find the whole data breach, a list of 100,000 emails and passwords for let's say minecraft.com. But some of those Minecraft users probably also use Pizza Hut. So they build software to try the same email and password on pizzahut.com 100,000 times. The ones that log in are a go. And now the scammer can order free Pizza Hut on at least a few thousand accounts. This is either done by using the person's credit card, which is already logged into the account, making this another form of online carding. But it's way easier because you're logged into the account already. So the site security system aren't checking for you like it would for a brand new customer. Also, a lot of these people have rewards points, which get you the item for free. All you have to do is be logged into the account. When you see these people on Twitter or Instagram saying, I'll get you Pizza Hut or Domino's for half off. This is how they do it. Scam number seven, profile. Risk level, extremely high, extremely stupid. Cash per day, like 10 to 20,000, but there's a lot of setup required. You and everyone else has a social security number. And if you're not stupid, you have a credit profile attached to that social security number with credit cards, maybe an auto loan or a mortgage. And if someone gets access to your fool's name, date of birth, social security number, security questions like mother's maiden name, etc., they can apply for credit cards in your name. That's how this scam is done. They get access to the information in similar ways to the free phone scam I told you before, but they're a little bit more sophisticated because it's tougher to convince someone to give you their social security number. People sell doctor profiles because they make tons of money and have great credit. Anyways, once they've applied for all the cards in the person's name, they'll get the physical cards shipped to another drop address or sometimes the person's home address and usually use those cards to buy a ton of high ticket items like laptops, max out the credit cards and then won't pay them off. Don't do it. Don't do any of these. But this is how these scammers are making so much fucking money. Scam number eight, spamming bank log. Risk level, medium stupid, but still stupid. Cash per day, like 10 to 50,000. If you ever got a weird looking text from a number claiming to be your bank and sending you a link to log in on, it was this. They essentially use fear and make you think someone's taking control over your account and make you think someone's trying to do something bad with your bank account. That login page was designed to look exactly like your bank's actual login page. However, instead of sending your username, password, and two-factor authentication code to the actual bank, you're sending it to a scammer, allowing them to get access to your bank account. The scammer created the page and the information goes directly to them. Once they're inside, the bank account they can use any number of ways to cash it out the most primitive would be a wire transfer but this would usually get stopped but there's always new fintech companies with bad security who will pretty quickly let someone log in with the bank and cash the entire account out with something like bitcoin or gift cards scam number nine spamming office log risk level less stupid because it's not directly going after a bank cash per day a hundred thousand plus but it requires hella setup and it's also illegal don't do it rjack.net this is how the 16 year old hacked twitter similar to spamming bank logs but instead of trying to get access to someone's bank account you're trying to get access to a company's either slack channel or office 365 teams channel this is where big companies talk about everything they need to talk about so the process is the same they send an email or text message to a person getting them to log into their slack or microsoft office teams account with the fake login page Page. And once they're logged into that account, they can see everything about the business. When they did this with Twitter, they were able to get people verified. They were able to take over username and they were most importantly able to get inside people's Twitter accounts like Obama and Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk directly from inside Twitter itself. But usually people just use this to see when and where the business is sending money. And when they see wire instructions being sent in a message, they'll cancel that message and resend a new one that looks exactly the same, but just has a different account and routing number to send the money to. Scam number 10, credit. Risk level, absolutely zero. You won't go to jail for this. Cash per day, billion. What? Yeah, the credit card companies are scamming your ass. Colleges all across America will charge you tens of thousands for a fucking art degree or a women's study, but they will never ever teach your ass about credit. Because if they did, people would stop getting into credit card debt they can't afford. They'd stop paying debt because they'd know how fucking easy it is to finesse the system and they'd be able to get access to whatever car, house, or boat they want. I know the credit game and I hit these banks over the head for a free Panamera. 
go check out my video. That's a hundred thousand dollar car. They're like ninety. But if I choose to stop paying that motherfucker today and keep the car and wipe it all the way off my credit report, but you do have to put the work in and be a little patient. Doing anything illegal is stupid, so I give this information for free because it's worthless for any purpose except inspiration. But the way to do it legally is valuable. Luckily, if you don't trust me, you think I'm some core selling Ty Lopez ass scammer, you don't gotta send me the money. Just text me at 310-924-6900 for specific instructions on how to burn the money because I'm not just gonna give you the information that cost me years of pain without you putting up something first. Or just go to rjack.net and sign up for the credit code. And even if you don't have any money right now, cool, browse around rjack.net. It's a free preview on a credit code that won't tell you how to get the full amount, but it'll put 10 to 20 in your pocket. Money is free, bro. I'm telling y'all, this shit is not real. They fucking print it whenever they want, but we could take back the fucking power. I print money now, nigga. I bend these banks over the table and fuck them till I nut. Now, if you felt like any of this information was valuable, there's tons more valuable content on this channel. Watch it all. And if you show me proof, that you watched all my videos to at least 70% of the way through, you can tell by the little red bar on the bottom. Text me at 310-924-6900. I got a surprise for you.